Hello Internet, it's Andrew Michael and welcome to this week's episode of Crap Shoot Wednesday and I want to say happy 2019 and this is going to be the first episode of 2019 so let's get right on to it. So if you're like me and you just got a, a decent gaming computer and you wonder, you know, maybe I can do a little bit more streaming and Let's say you're also like me, and you got yourself an Elgato HD 60S. Well, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how I fixed the little OBS audio thing where sometimes if you're trying to use OBS to stream instead of Elgato software, you can use OBS. And there's something in there that keeps it from showing up, and I'll put in the part where I fixed it. So, yeah, this is going to be a short video, a little tutorial, and yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy it and if this is in any ways helpful and you know someone else is having this issue as well then make sure you share it with anyone that you know but let's get this going okay so i've been sitting here for like an hour now trying to get this elgato thing down here working and i have it down there plugged into my switch and my red joy con here and one thing that i saw a video on um i'll, I'll reference that on here Either that or I'll just reference the YouTube video or the link. But let's say you have your switch on. And yes, how this is connected to the desktop is that it's using a USB-C connection down there. And the USB is what connects it to this. So you don't even have to use the HDMI port at all on the computer. Just as long as you use it on the TV and your switch. Like the only two things you need the HDMI port for. Now, let's say you're here and you have no audio. Let's say you have zero audio at all. And let's go in here and I'm going to show you what I did. You have your, you know, your switch hooked up here. Any console you're using right here. Basically what you can do is you want to scroll all the way. You have it here. Everything's working fine. Um, I have no latency with this at all. I see no problem. But as you can see, there's no audio. There's zero audio for this. You're wondering why is there not any audio? What do I do? Well, first what you do is you just go to where you have your... Switch or PlayStation or Xbox being captured using the video capture device then you go all the way down here to where audio output mode is and You can change it to either output desktop audio Direct sound or wave out. Um, I just tested both of these. I think direct sound might be a little bit better But I think there might be an echo. I haven't heard it yet, but Usually I will try either one of these But let's say you're using direct sound, okay? So, this is the main thing I figured out, is that I just did that, and then, boom. As you can see, there's audio. Now, let's say if you want to, you know, that didn't work. What the guy that showed me did was, you can go mute monitor and output, or monitor only, but you can do either. Either way, it works. So, that's how I did it. That's how I fixed it. Like I said, I'm going to link the video that I saw earlier. And if you want to use this tutorial in the future to fix your Elgato capture. Or anything with an Elgato audio fix. No chat link needed. Just the Elgato HD 60S. All installed and everything. One thing I did notice was that I did hear a little bit of echo on the stream that I did on Twitch. But that was because I had my phone on the sound part and I had it on. Like I didn't have, I had the volume on basically is what I'm trying to say. And I could hear the echoing so if anyone was wondering what that was, that was just me having the sound on. But overall that was just the only fix for me. Is that I just had to go with the OBS, go to the capture audio only and turn that to direct sound or wave out. So you can hear anything from the webcam or you could use anything from you know, the switch or anything else like that, because that's how I use my webcam to use the mic, like I don't even use an external mic anymore, I just use a webcam, and that webcam has a built-in mic as well, so, basically that's how I figured it out, and so far for the most part, I've had no trouble now doing streams at like 1100 bit rate since my Wi-Fi is trash, and I've been doing like 480p 60fps streams, and they've been fine, now I know a lot of people are going to be asking, why do you do... 480p instead of 720 at 30 fps and that is i don't know it's just if i do 720p 30 fps it can do that but it would probably 
I, for the most part, thrown on my computer. So, anyways, guys, if you find found any of this helpful, make sure you leave a like. And also, I forgot to mention one more thing. Um, when I was going through editing this video as well, um, I saw this little thing on one of the discords that I'm in, and one of the things he said was is that when he had his switch and his um, Elgato plugged into that, there was a little bit of lag. If you go into that first option where you're doing the video capture device, instead of just pressing the Elgato game capture thing from there, you can just do the Elgato SD video, I think, and it has like the number 01, and it has it right there. Plus, if you press that one, that has zero latency with it, and it has really low latency as well, so whenever you put an in input or output, you can then go from there, and then it looks like as if you're just playing it on the television. So that's just the only way I figured that did that. And then when I did the streams on Twitch, I had really no issues with that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I'm sorry if it was really short, but this is just a little bit of a tutorial to help everyone. So I hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, make sure you leave a like. And also, until next time, I'm Andrew Michael, and I'll see you guys next time. <sighs> Thumbs up. This is just an outro.